Hey everyone, Dr. Kylie Stevenson here. I wanted to make this quick video to go over some of the common questions that we get asked about our red light therapy. Number one is how does it work, right? If we're working with red light therapy to help with weight loss, let's go over how that actually happens. Now, what I'm gonna show you is a picture here of different stages of fat cells during our treatment, okay? On the far side here, these are filled fat cells. The best way to describe them is they look like kind of a cluster of grapes, okay? The next picture here is 15 minutes in and then 20 minutes in. Now, the best way I can describe it is these are the nice plump grapes. The grapes here are kind of squished. And right here, they're practically raisins, okay? That's in just a 20-minute session of red light therapy. Now, pictures are great, but why does it work? How does that actually happen? So I have a nice graphic here that goes through and says exactly how that works. So essentially, we have a, the light space, the medical-grade lights, the detox session, excreting it, and then what happens if you don't follow these steps? So step one is the lights. What the medical lights do is they actually take that, that grape or that fat cell and they penetrate the wall making little holes. Another wavelength comes through here and it makes the fat essentially liquefied. Next, the fat can then leak out of that cell. Where does it go? It goes into the interstitial tissue. Now, if we do nothing, the fat just kind of sits there, right? So the next thing is we have to get it out of the body. So we then go on to a high powered vibration platform or even like a, a spot treatment, like a massage gun of some sort, if we have kind of one of those stubborn areas, if you will. We then get that, the liquefied fat from the interstitial tissue through the lymph system. The lymph system will then carry it through the liver. The liver has so many functions in the body, it's so important that it's functioning properly. But what it does is it takes that liquefied fat cell and it turns it into ways that your body can get rid of it. So one of the most common ways is through the urine. So typically after a treatment, you're going to see a little more foam in your urine. Uh, it can also get rid of it through your bowels or also through sweat. So those are the three ways that most of the fat will actually leave the body, okay? One super important thing to, so one super important thing to do after a treatment is drink a ton of water. We have to really support your body in that detox phase, right? Get the, get the fat out of the system. So vibration platform as well as some activity is great. And then of course, water. Those three things are going to really help get the maximum benefit of each session. Now, what happens if you don't do that? If you do the red light therapy, it pokes the holes in the grape, it gets all the fat liquefied and out into that interstitial fluid right next to the cell. You do nothing at all. That cell wants it back. So the cell is going to essentially reabsorb that fat and then repair the wall. So it's kind of like, well, what did I just do? Kind of nothing, right? So it's so important to follow our system, follow our steps so you do get those maximum results. Let me know if you have any questions.